Now it's time to fix this cannot get error. So normally when we visit a web page, for example this one, under the hood the browser sends a get request to the server to perform a read operation. The reason we see the cannot get error is because we have not yet sent anything back to the browser from our server. So in Express we can handle this easily with the get request, with the get method. Okay? So now let's go back to Visual Studio Code. And what we want to do is we want to create now uh, app.get. So we are going to call the get method. Now the first thing is we have to give it a path. So here we have like paths and we will have a call back. Okay. Now what I want to do is when I call the main page, now this one, what it's going to do is the browser will send something like this um, to our server. So there is a slash at the end, a hidden slash. Okay. So let's go back to Visual Studio Code and our path will be just a slash, meaning it's like the uh, pure domain, yourdomain.com. And then we will have a callback and here we will uh, pass in a function. So we will say function and now we have a request and a response. Okay. And normally we type in Rick and Russ. And then we say this is a function. And now what we can do is we can send back something to the web browser. And inside our response object we have a send uh, method. So we can say res.send. And here we can say here I am. Or let's say this is a get. Okay, so the first thing we are going to do, we are, we are doing is we are listening to port 3000 and then we are initializing a get method saying that if something requests uh, this path, which is this, then we will send back a message, which is this is a get. So far so good, right? Now let's stop our server, command, uh, sorry, control C and let's say node server.js restarted. So we need to, to get the changes and let's switch back and press enter. And what we see is this is a get. So the request from the web browser has been sent to our server. The get catched it and sent back a message. That's it. Now. Let's take it one step ahead and let's don't just send back a message, but let's send back a file. Okay, so I will go back to Visual Studio Code and here what I will do is I will say rest.send file. Now I will have a their name note that uh, underscore underscore their name is directory that contains the JavaScript source code. Okay, so it will be directly here pointing to here, and here we will say, please use the file index index.html. Okay. Now you might be wondering, okay, but we don't have a file like this. This is why we are going to create right now a file index.html. And here I have a very simple, very simple HTML. And okay. Now let's stop our server. Let's restart it. 
And now what I'm expecting is that in this path, I will have an index.html, which is this one. And once I uh, receive the request, I will send back the index.html file. I haven't saved it. Now I've saved it. I hope this won't be a problem. Now let's go back. Let's hit enter. Okay. Here it is. New page source. Here it is. Great. So far, so good. Now it's time to go one step further and start to have a post. We are going to send some data to our server. 